What's up, guys? How's it going? Good evening. Good evening. Let's get into it. Not a financial advisor, not financial advice. Uh, make sure you guys are doing your own research out there, okay? Uh, also, guys, if you want to join the Gem Hunters, click the join button down below. Become a member. Uh, kept it nice and cheap for you. Get in super early on projects, micro cap gems, things like that, things like Caspa, um, uh, Taraxa, thing, things like that. Super early. Uh, if you want to get in on projects, uh, that's the best way to do it. Uh, it also supports the channel, guys, and you also get one-on-one -on -one video calls with me. Uh, we can talk about your portfolio, talk about crypto, uh, help you make a plan moving into the bull run. So definitely worth your time. Uh, let's get into it here. Uh, Dion Protocol having a huge pump today, 29%. Very, very bullish. Jasmine up 2% on the day. Nice pump for Jasmine. SEI network 3%. What do we got? Guys, check it out. Bitcoin 296. 20, it peaked over 30,000 earlier. Caspa 6.2% uh, 6 pump today. Uh, Quant climbing back up 86 bucks. Still a good buy, guys. Uh, XRP, little bit of a pullback. 0.8% uh, on the pump it had from yesterday's news. Uh, but otherwise, nice little green day, guys. Nice little green day. What else do we got going on? Uh, so Jasmine will be able to navigate on several blockchains, as I had assumed in the past. In addition, it will be uh, it will be Hyperledger Fabric, as I said, also uh, will be used. I imagine it will be once outside the private blockchain, Jasmine Magic. 100% guys, here is the proof in the pudding. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. But uh, it is shared on my X page, and my X link is down below if you want to follow me there and check it out. Very, very bullish uh, that Jasmine will be able to navigate several blockchains and uh, will be a Hyperledger fabric. Bullish, bullish news. Caspa, join, the, join us this Tuesday. Uh, on X Spaces or YouTube Spaces or YouTube Twitter Spaces, whatever, uh, they will be doing a um, a uh, Twitter Spaces, X Spaces, whatever. Uh, get the latest updates, marketing and business developments on Caspa, guys. Just letting you know that it's here. As you can see, I'm going to repost it right now. Check out it out on my Twitter page as my X page as well. Uh, if you want to listen in on that. Bitcoin Magazine, just in, pro-Bitcoin, U.S. Congressman Tom Emmer seeking nomination to become Speaker of the House. Uh, yes, please. I'd buy that for a dollar. Top analyst predicts Ethereum will far outpace Bitcoin's gains. Updates, uh, SOL, uh, SOL, Outlook. Popular analyst, uh, crypto analyst Jackis predicts that Ethereum will outperform Bitcoin in the next major bull market, which may expect, uh, which many expect could arrive in 2024 or 2025. Um, in a recent uh, Twitter thread, Jackis said, "Out uh, said out of the case of for why Ethereum is primed for huge gains relative to Bitcoin in the next crypto rally." He noted that if Ethereum can break above $1,825 level, it will likely surge to $3,600 or higher uh, from current levels around $1,600. That would represent gains of around 125% for Ethereum. Meanwhile, for Bitcoin to reach $50,000 from its current price of around $29,500, it would need to gain about 70%. Based on these projections, Jackis concludes that the Ethereum. Uh, Bitcoin ratio could increase by at least 40% in the bull market scenario. The math is quite simple. If Bitcoin goes higher, it will take Ethereum with it. If Ethereum flips 1825, it will break the ascending triangle higher. Essentially, if it ha if that happens, it's going above 3600. Uh, if that happens, that's 123% from here. While the BTC to 50k, it's 68%. From the current price, if that happens, ETH BTC will go higher by at least 40%, says Jackis. Data from uh, from the 2021 bull run supports the thesis 
that Ethereum may continue to outpace Bitcoin in future rallies. In 2021, Ethereum gained about 463% from January 1st to its peak in November, while Bitcoin rose about 300% over the same time frame before declining. Ethereum has been gaining uh, on Bitcoin in terms of market capitalization as well. At the start of 2021, Bitcoin's market cap was about 4.5 times larger than Ethereum's. By November 2021, the gap had narrowed to 2.4 times. This demonstrates Ethereum's ability to generate larger returns than Bitcoin. Jackis also believes that Solana uh, could outperform both Bitcoin and Ethereum from current prices in the next bull run. With strong fundamentals and technical aligning analysis like Jackis, uh, analysts, sorry, like Jackis, are betting on Ethereum to be a top performer crypto asset in the next major bull cycle. Now, guys, while I agree with most of this, at the same time, one thing that is not being taken into consideration for Bitcoin is if we get these 8 to 10 spot Bitcoin ETF applications approved, that would mean that for every Bitcoin uh, that is on a spot Bitcoin ETF, there has to be it has to actually be backed by a physical Bitcoin, which means that Bitcoins will have to be purchased and held by BlackRock, Fidelity, and so on and so forth. So that is a lot of buying power going into Bitcoin. That is not being taken into consideration in this analysis, in my opinion. But all the same, it's all bullish news. Um, possible three scenarios after the Bitcoin halving of 2024. The Bitcoin halving is a pivotal event in the crypto calendar, which every occurrence sparking widespread speculation and predictions uh, as we approach this significant milestone, we delve into the possible scenarios that could unfold in the crypto world post having One, pessimistic scenario. In this outlook, Bitcoin might not witness a significant surge post having Instead, its value might only double from the current sta uh, state. Uh, failing to reach its previous highs, such such a scenario could be influenced by negative global events, financial crisis, similar to the 2008 downturn of, uh, or escalating geopolitical tensions could deter investors from the volatile crypto market. Traditional market <clears throat> downturns. A bearish traditional market could make investors weary of uh, venturing into cryptocurrencies. The realistic scenario. This is the most anticipated outcome by many in the crypto community. Here's what might transpire. Bitcoin ascends. Post-having, Bitcoin's value might plateau between 80,000 to 90,000. Altcoins surge. Altcoins might witness a more significant surge, potentially outperforming Bitcoin. This could be due to increased liquidity in the market, possibly from the introduction of products like ETFs. And three, the optimistic scenario. This is the dream scenario for many crypto enthusiasts. Mainstream adoption, Bitcoin could become a mainstream asset uh, with its value potentially skyrocketing. Some analysts even predict uh, figures as high as $300,000 or more. Increased collaborations, altcoins could benefit from the increased sponsorship and collaborations in integrating more than more with the Web3 ecosystem. In conclusion, while the Bitcoin halving is a significant event, its impact on the market remains to be seen. Uh, external factors, including global economic conditions, uh, geopolitical events, and regulatory decisions will play a crucial role in shaping the market's trajectory. What do you guys think the most um, uh, the most likely scenario is? What do you predict? Let me know in the comments down below. One, bearish. Two, realistic. Three, bullish. Let me know in the comments, guys. I would love to know your thoughts on it. Smash a like. Smash the subscribe button, guys. Um, and yeah, click the join button if you want to become a gem hunter, like I said at the beginning of the video. Supports the channel, guys. Kept it super cheap for you. And I will see you guys in the next one.